Okay, so we thought that we'd make a video of coming out and when we first realized we were gay because we are originally both from small town Ontario. I'm from a town called Font Hill, it's mm. Niagara. I am from Guelph, slightly bigger, but... I'm from Guelph, a more gay-friendly neighborhood. Yeah, but it was a Catholic school. You but she also Catholic went to Catholic school. school. So she I think was, it kind of evens out. She was the one out... I was the only gay in gay the village. Kid. The only gay in the village. Well, she was the only out lesbian in my school when I was, it's, like, in grade 12 out of 1,500 kids. It's One true. out girl and one out guy. And there was nobody out in my high school at all. They were all a thousand white kids. Nobody came out until after high school. And then, thanks to Facebook, like, six lesbians came out at once. And they were three couples. And it was astounding. Actually, including me and my friend, the eight of us now. But, uh, so we thought that we would talk to you because when I was 16, 17... I would watch all these kinds of videos when they were just becoming a thing on my laptop with my headphones, and it's praying less, your parents don't walk in. Praying your parents don't walk in. I used to do that thing, where like you watch the hiding outward. it like pornography. Like yeah, it was well, worse than pornography. Like God forbid they'd even know what you were watching. Oh my God! Yeah, watching I two girls I used talking. To, okay, I used to watch the L Word in the little TV in my room on mm -hmm. like the lowest volume, and I would have a backup channel too yep. in case anybody walked into my room. And that I'd skip the all the sex scenes and be like, just in case, just in case, just in case. Oh, but then I, I find myself going scenes. back and being like. Nah, this is worth watching. No, I would watch it when it actually aired, though, so I'd be like, oh, jerk. Oh, oh, I missed it when it actually aired. I caught mm -hmm. up after. But anyway, so, grew up small town, Ontario. Went to high school with a bunch of straight kids. Um, everybody was pretty much friends in our high school. We all got along, and everybody knew each group and whatnot. Uh, and anyway, I was... I hung out with a bunch of straight girls. Um, I remember when the whole attraction to boys thing happened and they were so excited because, you know, somebody would be having them over to go to the hot tub. And I just remember thinking to myself, I can list about a hundred things I would rather do with my time. And, um, and I, I worked nights, um, at a drive-in movie theater when I was like 17 and 18. And I had this friend who will remain nameless that I used to pick up when I finished work, tell my parents that I was working later and I'd pick her up and we'd drive to the beach every night. And like, in Niagara, you don't ever tell anybody you're gay, because God forbid you admit it to yourself. So we would just have, like, casual conversations of, Hey, are you a Tegan and Sarah fan? <laughs> yeah, that was the code, Me right? Me too. <laughs> They're great. By the way, have you ever watched The L Word? Like, pretending it was, like, just a cultural study? Oh, yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's really, it's then, fascinating that some people live that way. <laughs> yeah, then you solidified it, and it's just like that. Then you're just kind of like, okay, it's like, remember, um, like, you know, in, way back in, like, the 1800s or whatever in England, they would have, like, the triangle Yeah, on their hand. like that. Tegan and Sarah and The L Word are the new triangle. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the Christian fish. But not yeah, the, the Jesus fish. fish, but, like, not... Hypocritical and mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I remember I was leaving for England because I went to England for a year for school and I was driving her home on the last night and I remember thinking to myself, I really want her to kiss me. I really want her to kiss me. And she lingered, but she was too scared and I was too scared. And so she got out of the car and I flew off to England and like three days later we came out to each other on Skype. She was at her friend's apartment and she came on Skype and she, on the balcony and she was like, I'm gay. And I was like, I'm gay. And then we wrote each other letters every day. But nothing ever came of that relationship. So that's fine. But it was just the push that I needed to get out the door. And then halfway through my time in England, I fell really hard and just badly for this girl that lived down the hall from me. And that was a nightmare. <laughs> it was so bad. But anyway, she was like this super queer girl with short hair. And she did these awesome oil portraits of all the girls she'd slept with and just like a shirt and her, un her underwear. And I was like just so blown over okay, by her like gayness yeah so i she kissed me once and it fucked me up for weeks and then i called my parents and i was silent on the phone with them for about half an hour my mom kept asking what's wrong what's wrong are you okay because i had had h1n1 when that hit so she was like god what is it now what is it are you all right yeah so she was like baby what is it i know I was quarantined too. All my friends would come and put their hands on the glass. <laughs> but anyway, so I, sorry, so I said to her, I was like, I am gay, and needless to say, she did not take it well, and still doesn't. And that was about three and a half years ago, and we've never discussed it since. So, what really helped? I'm a special with, friend. She's my special friend. Mm -hmm. um, I have a cousin that knows. He's super hip and lives in Germany and was kind of my test testing the waters in the family because somebody had to know 
but he's hip. He lives in Germany, which is super gay friendly. He likes Radiohead. I was like, this is a safe bet. And so I remember last year I was dying and I wrote to him and I was like, okay, I have to tell somebody I'm gay. And he wrote me back this beautiful letter that I read on the streetcar on my way to work. And I started sobbing. And he was like, it's perfectly fine. Like, Sorry, I'm so, over here. I'm over here. Right um, I read it and I started sobbing. And so he knows. And that is, that is enough for me right now. Because my parents don't take it well. And if anything, they had me go back into the closet. Because I'm an only child. Mom teaches kindergarten. Baptist. I am not. She is. Um... We had, I remember growing up, we had two ladies that lived across the street, uh, Debbie and Patty, and they were gay. My mom was always like, those ladies keep blowing their leaves onto our lawn. We don't even say lesbian at home. So what really helped was watching videos like this where other people had parents who didn't like it because, you know, it's fantastic that there are people out there whose parents are okay with it. And that is wonderful and beautiful. And parents that march with signs that say, I have a gay kid, get over it, are fantastic. But not everybody has that, so it's helpful to watch other people and realize that you don't have to jump back in the closet just to have a relationship with your parents. You can have your own life, and that's okay. So, that's me. And that is a lot, because, um, like, I'm 22, about to be 23, and it's really nice to not hate yourself for being gay just because your mother won't like it, and you're not going to marry a nice guy that probably teaches kids and volunteers <laughs> and pop out like three kids and spend your weekend at winners shopping for home goods with her but it's nice knowing that i don't have to because kill me it'd be horrible so i'm a big homo big and, it, and it's fine and it, the funny thing is it's not at all what i pictured when i was young i thought i'd have to have short hair be super angry and just there weren't many ways to be queer i didn't think that i'd have a lovely girlfriend with long hair and <laughs> but I do and it's great and um so if I'm the first lesbian that people from my high school have met then that's okay with me happy to represent <laughs>